classic Honda Scrambler. Quality, fun, fast, affordable, and timeless. Sweet little exhaust note. Not too loud, not too quiet, nice little rumble. Cruise all day long at 55 miles an hour. Probably gets about 60 miles, 50, 60 miles of the gallon. And they're going up in value because they're rare. There's not many survivors left. Most of them are ridden into the ground. This one's only got 14,758 miles on it. Transmission shifts beautifully. The motor pulls nice and hard. Idles at 1,250 RPM. What's up, fellas? Another shitty pitch of the mic there. Left-hand catch. Yes, I am ambidextrous. Never fumble. Only once have I ever fumbled the mic. Guys, this is a 68 classic Honda CL350 in silver. This is a silver ghost. Check it out. It's got kickstart. Old school style. Marlboro man, kick it yourself. Or if you want to be a new wave, just push a button right here. Look, my no kicking. Fires right up either way. Nice rumble from the dual exhaust on the four-stroke twin-cylinder, twin-carb, double high-pipe, scrambler. Classic. Look at the hairy dumps on the tire. Zoom in on those. Brand new, baby. Hooks up like crazy. What's happening, fellas? Check out this classic 1968 Honda CL350. The boys are rolling this into the museum the other day after it came out of the detail shop and I saw it from across the parking lot and I was like, wow, look at the lines on this thing, man. The square style tank, the flat seat, the, the um, crossbar, off-road handlebars, the high pipe on it. It just is a cool piece that has stood the test of time. This, this thing's 50, what, 53 years old now? And it looks awesome and it runs great. These Hondas are notorious for being extremely reliable electronics and, and uh, engines, transmission clutches are pretty much bulletproof. This one has the signature high pipe and high rear fender with the uh, dirt bike bars and flat seats. So it just, it, it's, and it's painted a ghost silver. Just look, looks the part. It's been completely gone through by the techs here at the New England Motorcycle Museum. Jeff Castine, our, our uh, lead tech that used to own All Sport Cycle, he went through the bike himself, and uh, let me go over the work order here because it was an extensive amount of work, about $2,200 worth of parts and labor put into the bike. Start off, it has a brand new battery. Uh, the carb system was completely dismantled and rebuilt. It has two new brass floats in the carburetors, uh, two new air filters uh, from Honda. Those are OEM filters. They're expensive. It was 138 bucks for the air filters, dealer cost. Uh, two k &L carb rebuild kits with all the, all the uh, gaskets and, and jets and everything two carb diaphragms, and two new ignition coils by Venom. It has a new RK530 chain on it, uh, two new BRADS spark plugs. It has a new fuel pack cock, a new taillight lens on the rear, and a new signal bulb. So um, the carburetor is obviously totally rebuilt with the rebuild kits and slide diaphragms and new brass floats, uh, replaced ignition coils, set the points in the timing, de-rusted the fuel tank. The tank was taken off clean with evapor rust, installed the new pack cock on it, uh, Change the oil, replace the spark plugs, replace the air filters with the OEM NOS ones and installed the new battery. Adjusted the valves. Um, so this is an original Survivor, guys, at 14,756 miles. That's the original motor, uh, never been apart, all original. The um, tires were also replaced, the front tire and rim band and tube. The rear tire and rim band and tube were all replaced. So going down the list here, page three. Um, Let's see, two gallons of VP non-ethanol fuel, new fuel tank crossover hoses, uh, installed the battery, cleaned the battery connections, and then it went over to the detail shop once it was dialed in completely mechanically. And the um, recently the gas tank headlight, headlight ears and side panels were repainted a period correct silver. Um, it's no, no way a, a show quality paint job, but at least it's all one color and it looks pretty sharp. And you can see the tanks uh, pretty straight, got a couple little dings in it, um, right here actually, and a couple, a little piece size one right there. If you wanted to take it to the next level, you could have a show quality paint job, but this is, this is an excellent starting point, an excellent rider. It's all there, it's complete. It was steam cleaned, power washed, hand washed, degreased. The frame was painted, the motor swing arm tank, um, 
Side cover and headlights were painted. Uh, the polish, the front and rear fender, all the chrome has been polished. All the aluminum has been polished. The wheels, the bars, and all the chrome accessories were cleaned to the best of our ability. So uh, the bottom line was $2,193 in parts and labor. It's been in the shop. Uh, this is a project we started last summer when, before Jeff came aboard here when we were shipping bikes up to him. So this is... Um, probably been damn near close to six months. Sometimes sometimes it takes us longer to get stuff done. I don't know if we're waiting for parts or what the, what the situation was, but you can see uh, it also has a replacement seat cover on here. The rear turn signals are intact. The rear fender is in nice condition, as is the uh, license plate mount. It has the original shocks, the original rims and brakes. Uh, it also has a center stand, which is nice. It look, uh, I would have put it on the center stand because it looks cool sitting there, but I don't want to mess up the wood floor. But um, actually, I can demonstrate that for you real quick. We also have the original tachometer and speedometer on it. If I put this down, I can hopefully not damage the floor. If you have any idea how much work I put into these floors, oh my God, it kills me when we, when we damage them. But in any event, put this down for a second. It sits nice, perfect for washing it, cleaning it, storing it, or just for looking at it. Um, Kind of looks pretty cool perched up like that. You get a better look at the cool, clean, classic 52-year-old lines on this vintage Honda. This was this was their first, one of their first attempts at an enduro bike, a bike that could be ridden. On, this was designed, they called it a, it was a scrambler for on and off-road. With the new tires and fully serviced, it's ready for a summer of fun. Definitely a bike that's gonna go up in value. Most of these were ridden into the ground. Uh, you can see on the front here, the forks are nice and straight. The original wheel and hub is in nice condition. Everything's there, folks. So if you have any questions about it, give us a call at 860-454-7024. Uh, looks like somebody had replaced the fuel lines and put uh, inline fuel filters on there. Prior to us getting it, those were serviceable, so we left those on there. Um, call us if you have any questions. Thanks for watching, and God bless America.